Okay, guys, let's talk about bench pressing and um, position so that you incorporate more pec and less shoulder, okay? Um, let's, or a quick tangent. Um, if you've ever watched a powerlifting competition where the three lifts in powerlifting are squat, bench press, and deadlift, one of the things that you might see is the lifters while they're on their bench, it doesn't look like they're laying flat. It looks like they have a big arch to their body. Technically their hips or butt is still on the bench and their shoulders are still on the bench. So they're still technically in contact with the bench at two points. The only thing that's not in contact is their lumbar. Okay. So they have kind of an arch curve. There's a couple reasons for that. And the reason I'm addressing that real quick is a lot of people look at powerlifting and the way that they bench and they say, well, that's cheating. It's not cheating. Where the arch came from, okay, now some lifters have a very, very exaggerated arch and they learned that if they have an exaggerated arch, it shortens the bar path, okay? And, and, and you'll, see, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. But where that really, really comes from is it's not so much about shortening the bar path. It's about putting the best working muscles in the best position to move the bar, okay? Just to give a couple examples before I lay down on the bench and show you what I'm talking about. Um, if you're gonna push something just in a natural state, you want, the, you want the strongest pushing muscles to do the work. That's gonna be your pecs. Um, funny enough, a little bit of your lat is going to help initiate the first part of the push. But what doesn't push forward very well is your delt, the front delt, okay? So if, if, I wanna, if I wanna push something with explosiveness, this is a good position to do that in, okay? This isn't, and this is, but, uh, but this is what a lot of people look like when they bench. Let me, let me demonstrate this a different way. So pretend I'm laying flat on a bench where a lot of people set up is, their back is totally flat, their shoulder blades are spread out wide, okay? And their shoulders are very, very forward. In this, in this example, my shoulder and my front delt is more forward than my chest, okay? So if I keep that position, as I bring the bar back, look how ridiculous this looks. As I'm standing here with a PVC pipe trying to make the point, and I'm exaggerating, but look how dumb this looks. This is not a strong pushing position. If I wanted to push this bar away from me, even standing, wouldn't it make sense if my shoulder blades are back, the shoulder blades are back and down, my chest is now far in front of my delts, okay? This is a strong pushing position to maximize chest and a little bit of tricep. Okay, so again, this is silly and puts your shoulder in a really weird torqued position, not good for pushing, it'll damage your shoulders over the years. Whereas shoulder blades back and down, chest up, that's a great pushing position. Now let's see how that translates to the bench. So again, if I bench the way a lot of people do, back is flat, Shoulder blades are spread out and wide. And when I'm here, shoulders are above the chest. If I maintain that, even if I don't exaggerate very much, look at this weird forward rotated position of my shoulders. And while my chest might be a little bit more forward, I can, even with this PVC pipe, I can feel this weird stress across the front of my delt. Okay, now watch this while I'm just lying here. If I just arch my back a little bit, pull my shoulder blades back and down, what just happened? First off, the bar rose in position by about an inch to an inch and a half. And now my chest is the prominent mover. My chest and my triceps are the prominent mover to push the bar up. Okay, again, here I'm ready to push with the chest and triceps. If I flatten out, now I'm not. Now I'm in a terribly weak position with a weird torqued shoulder 
and I'm putting a bunch of load on this front delt, which is very weak. Okay. <clears throat> so again, so when you see people set up in powerlifting, a lot of times what you're going to see is they're going to create that arch. It's not so much about cheating. It's not about cheating at all. It's about setting yourself up for the strongest pushing position available. Chest up, triceps under the bar, shoulders pulled back. Okay? So just a little tip on bench press position so that your chest does the work, triceps assist, and the weak front delt doesn't have to do much, and your shoulder isn't trying to push in a weird torch position. Instead, we should be here. So any questions or comments, DM, comment. We'd love to hear and we'd love to help.